Hi everybody, welcome to my second match in the online world championship. Today I am playing Mathieu Bloch from France. And as you may have seen, the first match wasn't very successful, uh, didn't play well and lost. So for today, of course, I hope I will do better in both uh, aspects, but we'll see. So as always, if you like what you see, please press the corresponding button and subscribe to the channel. Okay, here we go. 6-3, I'm just going to run. Hit and split is correct, I think, yes. Well, maybe not. I mean, like that. I cannot attack him and distract him, maybe that was correct, so I'll we'll bring a builder down, try to build something myself. He already has many checkers in the zone. 6-2 doesn't do anything, unfortunately. I guess I gotta slot the bar. Four two forced to hit, I think. And he should consider cubing here, I think. Clear advantage. I think that would have been a good cube, so I'm Glad he didn't consider it. 4 2 makes the 4. Now, probably not a cube anymore. So my last okay let's look at this first so I certainly have to do something so I will hit him and I think I should hit two checkers here try to get, make the five point pointing on the deuce seems a bit weak would have worked well and this is of course a pass if he doubles but is it too good maybe I mean, for me the decision is easy cannot take this so he's continuing Probably I wouldn't have cubed because there are definitely some ways for me to get back into the game, like for example roll double aces. Three five, I'm just gonna step out. So it seems like he's insta rolling. Uh, I would have strongly advise against that, against the auto roll, because uh, you may miss some, some, some strong cubes, but maybe it's just uh, he's uh, clicking the button super fast, it could also be. Okay, he doesn't want to give up his midpoint, understandable. Three two, that's a bad number. Doesn't do anything. So I really need a four now. Six 
six two another bad number and same thing I think he should have at least thought about a cube and I think he should bring two checkers down still in need of rolling a four so we'll keep the checker as far back as possible so now he is back into good territory but yeah I'm pretty sure he missed some cubes in between and now he should take a roll which he does which is correct nothing to be afraid of There's the four, some progress. So strengthen my board and is this enough that he has to cash? I mean, still nothing much to be afraid of, but he cashes, that's fine with me. Or two should also try to get an anchor. I'm not sure if I should split to the bar or to the 20. At least this unstacks the point. Yeah, I'm really not sure. This looks good too. I don't want to get pointed on the five point. Another mediocre start. Shall I bring a checker down or maybe step up with the other checker as well? I think I prefer this. So if he points on me, I have the chance to make an advanced anchor on my four point. Or if he points on my four point, I can anchor on the five point also some numbers are duplicated like for example three two so yeah maybe he will cube this time certainly have a take but he has got some market losers for example had I stayed out that would have been a pass now having a decent game so we are now in a mutual holding game uh, yeah I had a decent game not anymore unfortunately and I don't think I can take this actually because of my racing deficit That's 31 pips. He has uh, extra numbers to clear his midpoint. Yeah, I will pass this. I already made up my mind. Uh, I recommend you thinking of the take pass decision before the opponent even cubes, simply because then you save some of the precious time. 
So in these matches, uh, 13 minutes is not much. So in this format, I have to focus on more on playing than on talking. But so far I hardly used used up any of my time, which gives me some room for later. Four one. So this is interesting. I mean trailing in the race by eighteen pips. This just undo. Uh, this just. Just feels weak, he can escape with the 5, half the anchor, so when in doubt I choose the more aggressive plays in these situations, when I'm trailing in the race there is nothing much to lose. And this time I was able to make some progress. Race is much closer to even now, so got to be a bit more careful. So I think this is the only five that I see, I cannot hit. So now race is dead even. Yeah, I would play 8 to 6. I mean, the deuce point is significantly weaker. Okay, I think I have to attack. Go for the prime. Nothing else to see. Yeah, anything else is really weak, I think. So, if he misses. Or if he dances, I probably have a good cube. That's also a consideration. You understand he doesn't want to give me any returns. Probably the correct play. That was a nice roll. Another chance to improve the prime. So now this is interesting because there are two blots that I can attack. So like any hit and dance sequence would be a pass. Fives hit, threes hit, fours cover, deuces cover, so yeah. Okay, I'm down in the race, but also down in the match, so I think because of the market loses, I will cube, easy take. But I'm not super certain about this cube. Yeah, I was thinking, but there are also killer numbers, like double fives, um, yeah. So how do I play it? I mean, I don't want him to anchor, so I think, I hope that he dances, and then I will try to pick up the other checker. That was a joker by him. Oh, he should play 39, so that was an oversight. Look at the difference. Um, now I can jump out, try to cover the outfield, I don't see anything else. Yeah, that was fortunate that he didn't make 
a nine point well that is unfortunate so I don't think he should recube here lots of work to do and he's leading in the match so if, if he redoubles to four uh, if if he cannot escape or it just can enter, I will be very quick with uh, shipping him back, it back to eight. So I would really happy be really happy uh, if he cubes me. I mean, even if he rolls a six and I roll a three, I, there's still plenty of play left. Yeah, good decision. Don't really know what else is. Yeah, that is too risky. I mean, he's already in a dominating position. He just should play safe. And now that I danced, I don't think I can accept the cube. So I, I will just pass. If he decides to cube, yeah. Yeah, bad start, unfortunately. Double fours make the five point, oops. And I don't want to strip my mid actually. So now I'm in good shape, but I don't think it's enough to cube. Yeah, I really want to enter on the ace. But then the 3, 13, 10. Now I will enter. This just looks more flexible. Yeah, I think he should uh, cover and play eight to five with the three. Yes, that's good. Okay, now it looks really promising that I will get to another cube here I'm ahead in the race threatening to prime his st structure is not ideal he's got three checkers back so I think again and I'm down in the match so before I waste any time on this I'll just chip it can make my fourth point my bar point can escape with the back checkers so I think it's a good cube. Probably he has got enough play to take. Taking his time. Take is fine, I think. Make my three point. He'll make his bar, my bar point.
So that's a bad shot. Probably has to attack. I don't see much else. Because he is leaving some, or he can play eight four six one maybe. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's that's better. Because with playing with two blots makes it pretty gammonish. So now it's not gammonish at all. He should. Uh, Settle for a bar point holding game. Ah no, he shouldn't stay back. That's that's really bad. That's that blot on my ace point is a liability. Not an asset for him, so yeah, good play. He's only down 15 pips and is on roll. So still good chances for him. That plays itself. Machine is doing that for me. Same. So now the sixes become really ugly. Okay, four is clear. That keeps as many fives as possible yeah so now he has to give up his uh, midpoint so at least if I roll a six it's only a single shot Yeah, he's playing pretty slow. That could backfire, of course, at some point. I mean, I cannot play with three blocks, can I? Five is clear. But yeah, why not? I mean, so like that, I can play 5-1 safely. And now, of course, he can split his checkers from the bar point but still yeah fives are really awkward and this looks weird but afraid of things like 5-1 okay now I will just strengthen the board what can I do yeah, I think that's the best. Or I can still safety a five. Wow. Playing with only a three point board, but having like four one, five one still playable. So maybe I should do that. But playing like this restricts his options. Like he cannot just run from the bar point. Yeah, maybe I should play like this now and hope for the best. So now he has to stay on his bar point. But it's really difficult for me to assess that. That was the joker. Undoubtedly. So I don't need to think about recubes flying for now. Which is nice. Yeah, uh, I'm really curious to see how I should have handled that holding game. Actually, I think the difficulty of holding games is underrated 
By that I mean people are talking about difficult back games, uh, difficult priming battles, but I find in these mutual holding games which come up very often there are quite a few spots where you can really make uh, big mistakes. Okay, hit and split against 6-4. So he should think about a cube at least for a sec. So I really need an anchor desperately, so I don't want to jump out. This duplicates fours, has to be the best play. Oh no, he has to, he should make the five point and now if I don't roll anything really good I probably just have to give up that's the way I see it well he doesn't cube so don't have any option to give up and now it's really too good I guess But he cubes now, easy pass of course, but it would have been a pass before and now I think it's too good, it was too good. Never mind. Okay, so against double sixes I really need the anchor. Yeah, I will slot both points. Looks a little bit loose. And again. I mean, this is probably double pass, no matter what I play. The position is just too weak. He has got all the advantages. So, even with the score, I don't think I can take. Yeah, these were quick two points in his favor. What can you do? Six four, nothing else. Four one, so he he has got an anchor, so I need an anchor too. Which is why I will play what split. I mean I had an anchor about the very bad anchor, I need a good anchor, I wanted to say looks a bit passive maybe he had other options I don't know but I'm really trying to focus on my play here last match commentating and playing didn't work out too well also 13 points really is a long distance so Doesn't make it easier. A 6 4 is easy, just trying to go for the race. And another holding game. This one, a rather simple one. For now. I'm far from being good enough. To cube this, need some more racing lead. First, get that checker to safety. But race is even. So, nothing to think about for now. Six. Well, do I slot my three or my deuce point? Well, this looks more natural. Since the race is so close, <clears throat> yeah, probably you should play like this, but I'm not not a hundred percent sure. So now 
Do I want to keep max flexibility? XG sometimes does some weird plays in these positions, uh, playing with many blots. So he should definitely stay on his anchor. I don't want to leave a shot on my midpoint. No need to. And now we get into a pure race. After double threes, it's pretty, pretty close now. I have the weakness, the extra checker on the deuce point. But nobody is anywhere near cubing territory for now, but that can change very quickly in these races. Okay, 5-4, don't want to dump another checker on the deuce. I think he should enter with a 4, take off the 6, and that's what he will do. 3-1, not a good shot. Uh, even worse. Oops. He's not trying to win the race either, so maybe I can roll something better. 1. Two, three, and avoid a gap on the four point, of course. Two off, and raise is even. He's on roll, the position is even, uh, so he has a clear advantage. I would play five to three. Why produce wastage on sixes? And now, if he takes off a checker with the three, that produces a gap there. And he should have cubed, I think, so I'm glad to get another roll, especially when it's double sixes. So again, he didn't pause to think about the cube, and now he gets punished, because now it's my, my point and not his. Because I'm really not sure if I should have accepted that double, I didn't have enough time to think about it, since he immediately rolled. Yeah, I should make his anchor. I think it's a bad idea to waste too much time on this decision. But yeah, that seems like the natural play. Yes, sometimes I do hit, but still with the anchor, not much to be afraid of for him. Another bad number, I think I have to run even though I'm not ahead in the race, but what else am I supposed to do? Yeah, maybe make the 9, slot the 4. Hitting is bad, I think that's not the game plan. I don't like, I mean from white specific, perspective I don't like hitting here from my perspective of course I do okay ace and don't leave any blots. Guess he will play to 265. And I will hope to 
be able to escape with my back checkers or with my back checker that is or hit he hits back so how strong is my position I don't see too many market losers so not volatile enough so so he should I mean this is not a bad dip basically that is why he should give up 23 this is a mere holding game a good number I can hit and now we are talking that has to be a cube so I don't want to waste time so not too good to double and I think it's a pass his structure is just too bad and this could easily end up in a gamma win for me Pass six three. Okay, so don't see much else. Race is even. Why should I stay back? I think, don't think he should have slotted, but never mind. And now this turns into another holding game where I have the advantage I wanted to say. Maybe I still have, but of course, double sixes was not ideal. Maybe I can remake. The, the eight point now that he missed indeed so up 15 pips now I'm down 12 uh, 15 5 so apologize for the boring game But really not my fault, neither his. I don't think he should play to his three point dump a checker there. I mean, this is now a pure race basically. So you want to fill in your gap on the five point, that's top priority for white. You don't want to put extra checkers on the three point in a pure race. So I will play this for the gap. Other crossover. Yet another crossover. Okay. Maybe like this. No big deal anyway. Pretty even. Do I? I don't know if I should put the checker on the four point or increase my chances taking one checker off with my next roll. Probably not a big difference. Okay, at least play worked in the sense that I can take the checker off. And again, we have an even raise. And now it's not even anymore. So another double pass. So I'm inching closer. score I don't know why he is using time bank on a obvious decision but that's not my problem
Okay, eight away, seven away. Nothing special here. Yes, he should make it. The anchor. I mean, this all smells a little bit of time trouble ahead for him. He doesn't start to speed up. He should, I think, uh, pick and pass, hit on the deuce point. And make the ace. I mean, usually when you have the blot there, you should cover it, so don't leave it open, like for example now, it really is a liability, it can be picked up, so you really want to have the point, see the consequences, so I'll step up, uh, no good three. Was a bad number. Do I need to hit loose? I don't think so because anyway he will hit me probably. It will make his four point even if I hit him. So I rather try to maintain uh, the race even and hope to yeah to escape at some point, so do I really want to make my four point? I think I need the outfield structure. So yeah, now I really need to use I'm up 17 pips in the race, but It'll be really hard for me to escape his prime, so he definitely should have cubed and I'm really happy again of not facing a tough cube. So, yeah, probably would have passed. I mean, all the advantages on his side, I'm not sure. But now... I get some counterplay and now I would take if he cubes, but I suspect he won't because his position got worse. So what am I supposed to do with the six? Yeah, this looks awful. I mean, minimizes shots, but I don't think I can do this. This is also not too many, certainly better when he misses, yeah. Five, one. So now, I am way ahead in the race, but still too much work to do. I fear, so I will just make a point play with our blots and hope to escape later. Maybe he won't be able to jump my prime. So he should make the nine or should he hit? Well, not my problem. That was bad. Now still an easy take if he cubes because I have defensive structure. He may not be able to make the point. So now 
head in the race and I've got a 4 prime so he has some really bad numbers immediately like double 4s so I really feel my def defensive structure allows me to take I mean this is not a cube that I take gladly but I had 12 pips in a race not too many gamma losses so I feel I have to take this I'm not sure of course well take worked out so now can I play on is there any bad number for me I mean whatever I roll we will have to drop on the next turn I think so I will just take another roll and I mean this is just a free roll basically for the for the unlikely gammon I won't leave him anything so now that he rolls a deuce I certainly have some bad numbers so I'll just cube him maybe still ah short equity Maybe I should have considered a little longer. So first lead in the match, which is nice. Okay. So very hard to see a number for me that will allow me to take uh, three fourths certainly is not it so I'm prepared to pass and we are playing a six point match now Three, two. Actually, I don't want to hit two checkers. I'm not really playing a blitzing game. <clears throat> don't want to strip my six points, so we'll just keep it simple for now. I'm ahead in the race. Well, I was ahead in the race a bit. Okay, guess I should go for the prime here. Hope that he doesn't roll a six. This can't be a bad number. Just a question of how do I play it. So this looks interesting. I, mean, I want to keep him from escaping. I don't want him to have his entire role to make new points so I mean what else so this is oops let's look at the normal play I mean this is great when he doesn't roll a six so so then I can attack even if he rolls a six I still can hit so maybe it's really an overplay to just I mean the longer I look at it this puts so much pressure on him if he fails to roll a six, well, he didn't. And now I have to pass, unfortunately. Clear pass, so no need to waste time. So I want to make the 11 point. 
and there is no not really a good six so this should be it I think he should just uh, play 18-16 because he is ahead by so much in the race so his checkers on my bar point are a real liability for him so I'm glad that he stayed on the bar point because like that there is more contact which benefits me of course since I'm so far down in the race. This is double six is blocked now for example. So I will just build my structure. Could have it. ah double sixes okay here we go the blocked ones five one yeah I was thinking maybe I should have cleared my eleven when he had the two blocks I mean I cannot completely break my board so that's out. So I can minimize shots, which I probably should do. Yeah, I think that's the play, not sure. Duplicates aces for hitting and covering. I think that's too early to run here because I've got so many hit and covers and he can strengthen his board. Okay, 6-4, not a good number. I can run out, but that's so many shots against the five-point board. I can play something like this, hope that he misses. And that gives, if he misses, then if he rolls a six something, then he's really in bad shape, or I can play completely safe, but then he can just run I mean, I hate this, so I think I have to go for the strong board and hope that he doesn't roll a 4. Yeah, that's my play here. So, like this is especially good if he rolls like 5, 6, probably has to pass my cube already. So, that was designed for these numbers. So now... I'm way down in the race, so I cannot cube, I think. But now the time has come. Yeah, this should be a very strong cube. And probably he should pass. Because of the gammon threat. Takes his time again. This is, an, this is an advantage of cubing quickly, so then he cannot make up his mind before. But yeah, this feels like such a strong cube. What would I do? Probably <clears throat> I would pass. Too many gamuts. Also, he, he has to be a little bit more conservative at that score. But maybe, maybe it's a take. I mean, if I roll something like 4 1, that's certainly. Yeah, I have to attack, of course. So now, if he rolls a deuce, that would be great for him. 
but he doesn't. Okay, one, two, oops. Okay, I will hit for sure. Question is whether I should play without blots. But then if he rolls a six, I can get into trouble. So I feel that's not the way to go. This looks pretty solid. Is there anything else? I can also make my ace point. But no, then he hits me. No, I need to take out that checker. Okay, I think that's the play. Yeah, good sequence overall, of course. And now I will try to get my builders into place for winning German. I mean, I want to hit on the hit loose on the ace, of course. So this, so maybe I should play like this. That's an additional builder. Yeah, why not? And here we go. Six four. So that leaves a shot at 6-4, play it like this, it's the same, I don't see much difference here, okay. Well, this is a bad distribution for winning a gammon. So I think I just have to play it safe, so probably not a gammon here. but at least two points. So now we will get to 4 away, 5 away. So he should cube aggressively, even more aggressive. I know, I should cube more aggressively than him because I will be leading and be 4 away. So I should cube aggressively. Yeah, probably make the anchor. Okay, hitting seems to be the way to go. Nothing constructive. So then I prefer to hit on my five point when there are no constructive alternatives. At least that is what I'm, I have written in my new book. To hit or not to hit. So that will be out if everything goes according to plan in May. Just writing the final chapter. So any hitting play? No. So I'll just build my prime. Like he will build his. Okay, he hits me. I'm not sure about that, but could easily be correct. I don't know. Six two. So with the six, I want to cover. No good uses, so I will just duplicate. 
Do I really want to cover with the six? I mean, this looks much better. It gives me more structure and I don't want to be attacked. I think I like this better, so. Didn't see it even. The laces, so I will keep my anchor where it is. I think that's more contact. I'm so far down in the race, so I don't want to make my four anchor that only reduces contact. For example, yeah, with 2 1, he just could have played behind my anchor. And now he has to leave a shot. I guess he should. Clear is 15. That's a hit, so where's the four? No many fours. He'll hit back. And I will hit. It was a crucial dance, so now I can. I guess I will go for the nice prime, so if he enters on the I don't the nine and the three point don't belong to the cannot belong to the same prime, so structurally this has to be the play, I guess. Works out. At the moment, so the question is, do I have a cube here? Fives are very strong. I'm incentivized to cube aggressively. If I hit him, he'll be in bad shape. If I don't hit him, he's still behind my prime. Yeah, how aggressive can I double this? So that is the hitting numbers. It's fives and four one, that's 13, three, four, six, one. So almost half. So let's say I hit and he enters, by how much do I lose my market? I mean, it feels weird to cube being down 30 pips in the race with three, three back checkers. So. Okay, I will wait, but I'm not sure. That's a good shot, of course. But even here, if he rolled something good from the bar, then I'm going to be in trouble. I'll just escape with that checker. And now, I mean, this is a clear pass. Can easily win an undoubled gammon here. He's behind a prime. Now I'm feeling almost that this is too good. What can he roll? He can only anchor on his four point. That's probably the only way he can take. So, is this really too good to double? He's got a three point board as well, but. Yeah, if I roll two big numbers, I can point of uh, point on him. I feel like I should take another roll here. It will be really tough for him to get back into the game, so I will take another roll. Not trying to risk anything, of course, so to be able to cube him out later. But mm, yeah, maybe it was bit ambitious to play this for the gammon but so now I will cube yeah I should have should have cubed maybe so now I will cube lots of market losers I have the priming structure Yeah, but the more I look at it, I feel I shouldn't have played on. I'm not so sure. I 
Yeah, is this a take? I'm probably there are too many gamuts, but I might be mistaken. Yeah, I think it's a good pass by him. Yeah, he's very quick with his doubling decision, so he, he missed a hit, which is nice, should have hit of course. Very quick with his doubling decisions, rather slow with his take pass decisions. I mean, quick with his doubling decisions, uh, I mean that he's just insta-rolling, which as I have mentioned is not a good idea, just think about it at least. You've got your time bank, so it, it real, really doesn't cost you. Six five. Actually, I don't want to run, but I don't see anything else. Leaving blots there is there is also doesn't make much sense. Weird position, but yeah, got stuck with his back checkers. Question is, do I should should I leave a blood there? I mean, I'll be under attack probably. He will attack me if he can. So I don't think it's the right spot to leave another blood, but I'm not sure. Like something like this. I really don't want to have a blood. Y4, that's a good shot. So far down in the race that I think I prefer staying back. Eights are duplicated for hitting on the five and on the nine. So now I will try to contain his last back checker. Probably he has to. Yeah, I would have jumped to the 18 maybe. Just to keep me from doing something constructive. Like making my three point here. Six five is a poor number because I guess I have to move this checker here and I needed that checker for contact so don't see anything else to be honest. Okay. So five two do I attack? Do I make the ace or the four point? Ace point? Yeah, that's the blitzy play. Keeps him from escaping for now. I will have a hard time making additional points. This looks strong. If it doesn't roll a six. It's double six is six one. I think this is easier to win, so I will do it like this with the priming plan in mind. Didn't work out, so I really have to hit the ace now, which I don't. So that's just double pass. He shouldn't split, he should definitely slot. I'm I have a blitzing formation. So he should have should have slotted six to five. I don't see any good fives, so I will just 
hit on the ace, I unstack my point. And as I just mentioned, once you have made, have the blood on the ace, you probably should make it. So I will do just that. Great shot by him. I think he should just blitz me away, put two checkers on the roof and then cube. Like this it feels I have a lot more counterplay. I will step up with two checkers. And yeah, he should have hit two, I think. It's he still should have cubed, cubed probably because of the score, not anymore since I consolidated, but before he had market losers. I mean, he's four away, so he should cube very aggressively. Again, not spending any time on double decisions. Now this is pretty much the game type. I like at this score, not many gamins. He shouldn't do that. Just play, play, kill a checker, play inside. Seven to two, something like that, or, or this, anything. And I certainly don't want to break my board. Aces are duplicated. This looks really strong, so I'll just play. So now that he got a strong board, a better. Get that checker to safety. So who blinks first? Can he really afford to do that? I mean, on the next turn, I mean, probably, I mean, he could have volunteered here. Because chances are that he will have to give up something next time. Or continue to deteriorate his board, so now I have more freedom to move my checkers. Okay, I can play for max contact, but that's more shots. Or play like this. I mean, I think the other one is probably an overplay. I'm ahead in the race, so why leave all these extra numbers? So he hits me. Can I cube here? Probably not. Race is about even. I've got the stronger board, but I may as well dance as you can see. Yeah, great shot by him. Another dance, so he definitely should cube now. And I have a decision here. I mean, I don't see gamma losses, to be honest. Any hit by me would be fatal. So I really feel I can still take this. So much contact. I mean, it's just any hit from the bar. So I will take it if I enter quickly can win, take point is not too high. Yeah, he has to get moving and now I have my first shots. That was a dance. Next option, another dance. So now he has got one checker to safety or two. So next chance. Not a hit, oops. But at least some hope. I think I'm too far down in the race to 
consider running so yeah that's gonna be it so that is the next chance probably the last chance for me to hit which I miss Yeah, that's a bit too cautious because there are, I think, some gammon still left, but now it's no gammon. By the way, I'm getting really tired talking and playing, so we are now at the 115 mark, but I will keep it up, of course. Curious to see how that affects the quality of my decisions. Whatever. So, okay. Three way, two way. So now I have to queue very aggressively if the opportunity presents itself. Not yet. Yeah, hitting and splitting looks wrong. Hitting and bringing a checker down also looks wrong, despite the score. Field, since he's got a, he has a strong board, I shouldn't hit. So is there any duplication? No, this is also bad. I think. With his strong board, hitting is an overplay, but I'm not sure. I know if it's a one-point board, I can hit lose. But with a four-point mate, of course, the score argued in favor of the aggressive play. I think I get, need to get something going now. So this may be just to be able to anchor in case he hits something. Gives him bad sixes at least. By four, that can't be good. So I'll make my ace point, really. Can also cover, of course. Raise is even, I mean, this looks really bad, he just enters, he can hit back, I think the 5 point is better, I'll make my 5 point. To pay a little bit attention now to my time as well, so one and a half minutes should be fine, but yeah. So this is not the position I can cube super early. Six, just play safe. So his take point is 26% without gamins. I think he's much better than that. Not very volatile the position. Won't leave any shots here, any weaknesses. Talking about weaknesses. Still place as safe as possible, and that's this game probably. That's game over. Yeah, officially now. Fortunately, I don't have 25%, not close, so I have to pass. And we enter a Crawford game where I don't care much about winning a game.
Okay, since I don't care much about winning a gammon, I'm discarding any super aggressive plays. I think that is the way to go. I shouldn't have stepped up because that leaves me vulnerable to an attack. So this is clear. I don't want to hit on the A's. So just trying to get home somehow. Make my five point. This is not as good as it looks because, yeah, the prime is stripped. But, yeah, what else can he do? I don't think he should hit. This looks really weird. Yeah, I guess he wanted to protect his checker on the 21, but, yeah, that was bad play. But, okay, maybe it works out for him. Could easily be. So, what am I supposed to do? This is nice for duplicating threes to hit me. I think, and to anchor. So just leaving the anchor looks weird, so I will play like this. Didn't work out really. Okay, where's the ace? Does it help me to be back on the twenty three? I don't think so. So we'll step up so he cannot point on me. Yeah, probably shouldn't leave any blots, I don't know. Okay, I will hit. Keep the checker there, try to make a strong board. Just keep on hitting. I think he should, have hit, should hit on his four point now. He's, of course, also in time trouble. Yeah, good find, even though not rewarded. Okay, what else? Maybe jumping out. A backgammon would be nice, but that's very unlikely, so... Better stop dreaming. Okay, now it's about builders for the ace. Of course, releasing my back checkers when possible. Like this. to get I mean double aces my double aces are good anyway so I'm not worried about them okay out down okay one more builder and bringing the checkers around Here we go. So I've gotten really hungry by now. Lunch time actually normally. So but I have a banana just in case something like this would happen, so should I go for the backgammon? I don't know how bad can it be to take checkers off. Um, yeah, two, three, four. Don't want to waste any time on these decisions, so better get going. Hmm. 
Back him and chance. Go one. Two, three, four. Go for the back, Gammon. Ah, big double. Five, one is okay. Yes, back, Gammon is alive. Okay, there are bad numbers. No. Okay. DMP. With a good start for him, unfortunately. So I will just try to get an anchor slot. I mean, should I really run? I think I should be playing for the anchor down in the race. Takes the opportunity to run, to clear his. So I will hit and cover, nothing much there. Okay, some fours. Okay, now at least I have counterplay against his back checker. So I had in the race by now, so now I will run. He'll hit me. Team two, don't know. Good sequence for me. So now I certainly don't want to play for the blitz. Hitting on the A seems doesn't seem to be the play at DMP, so I will just consolidate, I think. Get my back checkers moving comfortably ahead in the race. I think that's the way to go. <clears throat> okay, good shot. Okay, he's got an anchor as well, so I'm certainly the favorite, but He's still very much in the game. Maybe he can slot 7 to 5 so far. Because problem is if he steps up he's blocking his sixes, so I think he made a made a good play. Uh, do I want to hit to keep him from making the point? I mean that's this looks a bit weak, seats the outfield control. So let's look at it again. I can just also point on him without hitting loose, but that leaves the awful gap on the three. Don't like that. So maybe it's indeed just keeping busy trying to pick up the checkers. Well, this does nothing. That's disappointing. What well, I'm afraid of, double aces, but then so be it. I think I have to step out and I have to also look at my time. So I mean, this is the only play that occurs to me. Hope that he dances again. Double aces for me is a great shot, of course. And I think I want to play with additional builders for the ace. Well, now that should give me enough time to bring my checkers around. Okay, usually against the three points you shouldn't stack your six points, so I will avoid that. Something like this. Okay, this one goes out. I want to leave him double threes. As I said, don't want to stack checkers on my six, but also want to get them inside my home board, so I will place one checker there. One, two, three, four. Getting closer. Six is nearly forced. So 
One, two, three. Okay, too many juices. I think I will take them all off. Not creating a gap. Okay, yeah, I should have looked at that. I'm so stupid. Didn't pay enough attention here to, to my bad two juices, six juice, five juice. Oh, 20 seconds, so I guess I only can play like this. Get really lucky here. So now that should be it, but yeah. <laughs> so. Wow. So I. That was due to being tired, I guess. Leaving him the double shot. Wow. So let's see the verdict. Played well, it seems, but we will look at my mistakes, of course. So, unlike the first one, I'm really happy with this match. Um, in all aspects, of course. Um, played well and I won in the end. Uh, Checker play was very good. Uh, cube play not so much. Two really big mistakes. And as to Mathieu, I think he is probably not very happy with his performance. Uh, I thought his take pass decisions were all fine. You can see uh, no mistake there, not at all. Uh, but many doubling mistakes and also quite a few checker plays. But uh, I, I won't be talking now about all the mis missed cubes uh, because I did that already, so we will just quickly browse through my biggest errors. And so that is already game three. Uh, other two games, there was nothing special, but that maybe we can get cube actions. They were just standard, clear pass. Nothing interesting, really. In first game, yeah, he passed when he was finally too good so it was swinging forth and back between too good and double pass and he missed a lot of lots of cubes there okay game three yeah uh, so um, writing a book doesn't protect you from making bigger mistakes here my judgment was off I shouldn't be so aggressive I just felt like, uh, yeah, I'm way down in the race, so what there is to lose. But when you look at the best play, final position, I mean, that shows you my game plan. My game plan is priming. So uh, I need to keep my eight point and I want to contain that checker. And breaking the eight point, that's the final position. That's just not the right game plan because no matter where the white checker enters uh, it will always have freedom to escape so and i should have gone for the blocking plan so that was bad and then probably the biggest mistake i even didn't notice i mean that this is such an easy take that's also an easy take for money uh, super big mistake uh, yeah when you look at it closer uh, first of all, I only need to hit something with my strong board. That's enough. He cannot hit hit me loose. So chances are that I can make the three anchor and then there will be so much contact left. Um, yeah, his sixes already will be playing badly. If I enter quickly, there's so many checkers to bring home. And since any fly shot that I hit or anything is a killer, my winning percentage is actually way too high to consider passing this. So, yeah, that was sloppy. I didn't think it through. I think I just passed. I mean, it looked like A on the bar, down 35 pips. But, but yeah, that was in part laziness and bad judgment. Yes, happens. What can you do? Then this one. Okay, I'm in no rush 
to to jump out because uh, he's not really threatening to prime me and but I have this awful stack on my midpoint so I just should go for the unstacking play and shouldn't be in a hurry to get that checker home this is just a much better distribution so yeah that's an interesting uh, position that uh, probably will make it into my database because I think I play too mechanically in these spots uh, I see I'm ahead in the race so just race but here there's really no priming threat for the moment and I should uh, just improve my checker distribution with the 5-1 okay <clears throat> next 5-1 so that seems like my mistake roll the other one was a 4-1 not good on aces today um, yeah okay I had the right idea but executed it wrong I should have duplicated threes instead of aces that gives me better structure it's only two more numbers and the nice thing about this is when I get missed I have plenty of checkers to play with so by clearing the 11 point which could become a liability later I give myself enough time to keep the midpoint and the 22 like like this okay what am I supposed to do on the next roll okay I can play from the 8 after I get missed but then I'm in trouble again so yeah understood don't know the cube action here Okay, that's interesting. I would have passed. I'm really surprised, but it seems it seems that it's right on the cusp. So now at plus plus it becomes a pass, but okay, never mind. Yet interesting because I didn't even think the take was close call, but apparently it is. Yeah, and here the big miss cube. I was thinking and thinking and then I broke my own rule of uh, when in doubt you should double and I was in doubt and I didn't double and I got punished uh, 198 huge mistake so my I was too focused on the race my prime is just too strong and even if I miss he'll have so much work and uh, my gammon wins are significant 24% um, I thought would be lower but but yeah bad adjustment and especially I just uh, wasn't able to follow my own rule it's even worse but at least just to redeem myself a little bit because uh, oftentimes when you don't cube because you think it's not good enough and after a great sequence then you think it's double pass um, but because it can't be too good, can it? Because it wasn't a double before and now after good sequence, how can it be too good? So then you uh, make an additional error by not playing on for the gammon. And here, at least, I avoided that error after the super sequence, 6-5 uh, hit, followed by a dance. I didn't mechanically cube, so at least something. And of course, after he entered his position was just to threat threatening if he makes an anchor if i dance uh, then he's fully back into the game so i had to cash now and this is already game 15 you can see there's not too much here because but otherwise uh, how can you play below two when you already had some two really big cube blunders uh, so then the rest must have been okay um, here I was too scared too much thinking about the future because this playing safe not leaving another block the position is just too stiff later on I will get into trouble uh, because since I'm down in the race I will have to play against his uh, back checkers so, um, uh, uh, and this gives me far fewer options or uh, 
they also say or this position is too front loaded too many checkers on the inside point so it will be really hard for me to build an outside prime so i should have simply I've gone for more flexibility and especially since the threes, the hitting number 6-3, I mean, it's not really duplicated, but then I get returns, so uh, not too many sh immediate shots and long term it's just so much better. Okay, that was a mistake. Okay, no more blunder found. There was something I was really interested i mean we can look at the cube actions a little bit okay here i'm glad yeah this wasn't even a double i felt that there's so much contact i mean just cannot pass this and you see it was a huge blunder to uh, to double this even that shows you how much contact there was in this position couldn't convert it into win, unfortunately. Uh, then here was the double pass. Uh, that was the one where he escaped with the two back checkers. So that wasn't interesting. But it wasn't there a weird double uses. Let's see. No, there is. Really not any biggish mistakes, which is good. I mean, but I, what was the last game where I left a double shot, but I still should have played four off. So I was really, I mean, I didn't have any more time to think about it. But uh, it was indeed correct to run the risk of leaving a double shot here, which is uh, interesting. But I really didn't have time to think about it. Just was just happy that I was I got missed. So yeah, all in all, gotta look again at the cube actions. But uh, checker, I'm really happy with my checker play here. So that was it for today. Um, if you like it, liked it, please press the button and uh, yeah, appreciate your comments and until next time.